let us look at proposition number five of book seven of Euclid's Elements. The proposition says, if a number is part of a number and another is the same part of another, then the sum is also the same part of the sum that the one is of the one. So what this means is, if A is part of PC and D is the same part of EF, then A plus D would be also the same part of PC plus EF. So let's see how we can prove that. So we are given A is part of BC and D is the same part of EF that A is of BC. So here BC has two parts equal to A and EF has two parts of it, uh, two parts equal to D. Now BC is equal to N times A because remember here we are taken twice but it could be any number. So BC is equal to N times A, EF is equal to N times D, same numbers. Now BG equal to GC. So let's first divide BC into parts equal to A and similarly let's divide EF into parts equal to D. So BG is equal to GC is equal to A. Similarly, EH is equal to HF is equal to B. Now this tells us BC is equal to N times BG. Because remember, we have already seen that BC is equal to N times A and BG is equal to A. Similarly, GC is equal to A. So we can say BC is equal to N times BC, BG and BC is equal to N times GC. Similarly, we can say EF is equal to N times EH and EF is equal to N times HF. BG plus EH, this is equal to A, this is equal to B. So BG plus EH is equal to A plus D. Similarly, GC plus HF is equal to A plus D. So we can say BC plus EF, BC plus EF is equal to N times A plus D. And what does this tell us? It tells us that A plus D is the same part of BC plus EF as A is of BC. That is proposition number 5 of book 7 of Euclid's Elements. Again, let me remind you, there is a link to a PDF book which describes all these propositions in detail. Please feel free to download it, refer to it. and if you think somebody else can also benefit from it, please do share. That's it for now.